Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco F3, also known as the Redmi K40 and the Mi 11X. Now, this is a time wherein custom ROMs are getting better, they are getting customization options, and we are moving to things which are more than vanilla Android 12 ROMs. And we have one such ROM available that is Cherish OS 3.0 Beta 2. This is the official flavor. The unofficial version was released yesterday, but now we have the official one as well. I've been playing around with it since morning. I've ran a few benchmarks and I've spoken to a couple of people who have been using it. So let's get into the initial impressions of this wonderful ROM. But before we get into the details, if you like watching custom ROM stuff every single day, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon and watch the videos till the end. That's all we request. Watch the videos till the end and subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people who have similar devices, do join us on Telegram because we have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other about custom ROMs each and every day. So join us there. And you can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook and other social media platforms. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so what do we have here? Cherish OS official beta S Elliot Elliot in. This is released on the 30th of October, 2021. That is yesterday. And this is a 1.7 gigabyte build. It comes with G apps and they do have a support section over there. So do go to their support telegram section. If you want to know how to flash and stuff. I'm not making a video on this right now. Probably I'll make videos on Android 12 flashing soon. Now let's go ahead and talk about the ROM itself. Now in typical Android 12 fashion, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that it has very, very few applications, no bloatware at all. As far as the camera application is concerned, it comes with a very, very basic camera application. No Gcam, no Gcam Go, nothing. Very basic camera application, which gets the job done. Now, if you swipe from the top to bottom, you do have your quick tiles. We will talk about them in a bit. And to the left, you have the beautiful Google feed, which works like a charm. Now, the Poco X3 Pro and the Mi 11X have been two devices on which on custom ROMs, the Google feed is working splendid. Like it's working really, really great. Remember, I have this guy over here, the iPhone as well. So I use Google feed on this because it's my primary device, but it is very smooth on these devices because both of these phones are coming with 120 hertz displays and when you pair a AOSP ROM on 120 hertz, it works really, really well. So no complaints there, even when refreshing, Google feed is working absolutely fine. Now, if you can see over here, I don't know if you can notice, this has a very, very light hint of green color because the wallpaper is sort of greenish. And as you can see, the quick tile are also following the material you theme. That means the Monet UI is doing a great job. Now that brings me to the next topic. If you go to home settings, you do see this is the pixel launcher right now it doesn't come with a ton of customization which in itself is a good and a not so good thing it really depends on who you are if you go to wallpaper and style you have predefined colors over here which you can choose and you can choose themed icons as well you have the option of app grid as well so let's say you go to change wallpaper you have the curated culture over here so sometimes these wallpapers take a while to launch and load, there you go. So select this wallpaper, for example, you will notice that the whole UI changes. So the moment you turn themed icons on, it works absolutely fine. As you can see over here, it is working for some Google baked applications. It is not working for all the applications. We already have Majisk modules available, which allow you to, you know, add more icons to this particular themed icon thing. And it looks really, really brilliant. Now, moving on, let's talk about the quick tiles over here. When you swipe from the top to bottom, you have your quick tiles with a very, very beautiful uh, brightness slider. You have your voice over Wi-Fi icon, voice over LTE and stuff like that. And you do have a refresh rate toggle over here. Now, something to note for this particular device in this particular ROM, the refresh rate toggle is not available in settings. It is just there on the quick tiles. And if we talk about the screen recorder, it allows you to use internal and external audio. And unlike the Poco X3 Pro on this one, you don't really have a problem. It works absolutely fine. Even when you're using the ROM, as you can see, there is no stutter, no jitter whatsoever. So let's go ahead and stop the screen recording here. There you go. Let me show you a glimpse of this. There you go. So 
right so the screen recorder is working absolutely fine no problems there and apart from this if we talk about the other tiles you have very very basic tiles which are available in most of the roms and if you go further you have your privacy access tiles which you can enable or disable you do have caffeine you do have ambient display which is a good thing because this device comes with an amoled panel you have the screenshot shortcut and stuff like that so the quick tiles are working like a charm no issues there you have this power menu over here and if you will see you do have the advanced option so you can restart the system ui as you can see the system ui has restarted and over here you have the screenshot option as well there you go and you have restart power off and settings as well so advanced power menu making its way to one of the custom roms based on android 12 which is really really neat now let's quickly go to settings over here and let's go to about let's go to the android version over here there you go you have the beautiful cherished logo and let's keep tapping on android 12 and if you take it to 12 o'clock you will have your android 12 easter egg the security update is of october 2021 and the kernel that we are talking about is the immensity x kernel which works fine se linux status shows permissive so we'll talk about that but as you can see this is a build number and this is a build date and i'm pretty sure very soon they'll be coming up with small and incremental updates which will fix all the small small bugs that we are facing right now now if you ask me about the ui the user interface it's really really fluid that has been one strong area for the mi 11x wherein the custom roms based on android 12 are beating android 11 smoothness by a huge margin and that is a really really good thing because not only these roms are stable these roms are you know available for daily driver but they are working absolutely fine i've not had any issues with them some small issues here and there but yes they can be definitely used as a daily driver now the moment you go into settings you do see that the settings menu has started getting tweaked you also have a cherish settings dedicated section over here we will talk about that in a bit but over here you have an option to use multiple users you do have your standard android 12 network and internet section nothing to show there everything is similar which we've seen in a ton of videos so all these basic android 12 settings it doesn't make any sense for me to you know go ahead and cover everything and make the video long let's talk about things that really really matter for example if you go to cherish settings you do see that you have almost a complete list of customizations available so you have status bar quick settings themes buttons animations lock screen power menu notifications miscellaneous and about now there is a small catch over here remember the name of this particular rom it said beta 2 beta 3 and stuff like that which means not everything not all the customization options that you would have seen in cherish os android 11 are added yet so some things are blank so let me show you things one by one for example if you go to status bar customization you will see that you know everything is present over here and these changes work as well as you can see See, the Volti icon is changing real time if you go to status bar icons you can go ahead and you know change and add things I have enabled the traffic indicators you have clock settings as you can see over here now if you go to quick settings you have quick settings customization as well which works absolutely fine but the moment you go to themes this section is blank so they are working on it so if you go to buttons you do have the customization available if you go to animations again it is blank and then if you go to lock screen you do have some customization available over here as well now you do have your lock screen shortcuts or lock screen tuner there you go so as you can see left shortcut say i want to keep the left shortcut for there are a ton of options as you can see over here. launch calculator let's say launch settings oh the right shortcut went to wi-fi so let's lock the screen here and that's the beautiful animation there so let's go ahead and see over here okay so if you swipe like this it directly takes you to wi-fi settings which is a good thing so the shortcuts are working absolutely fine as well now you do have the advanced power menu which you just saw in action it works absolutely fine you do have your heads up and notification customization which is really neat now what matters for me is do i have a heads up shortcut over here because that's what's going to matter while gaming uh heads up heads up heads up heads up yeah probably they should add a heads up shortcut which is going to be really really useful now moving on you have miscellaneous which is again blank so that's the amount of customization you have available in cherish os right 
Now moving on, if you talk about notifications, you have things like notification history, as you can see over here. You see this? The notification history is working like a charm, absolutely good. Bubbles are available, but not all applications are supporting bubbles. So be aware of that. If you go to the battery section, you do have thermal profiles over here. As you can see, I've said gaming, benchmark, all the different thermal profiles. You have the dedicated battery percentage toggle over here. And if you talk about battery usage, I've used the screen for one hour and 47 minutes and still the battery life is pretty decent. Although I'm, th I'm at 31%, I've been doing other stuff on this phone. Trust me, the battery life is okay. It's not that great. It's not as good as Android 11 ROMs or even MIUI 12.5.5 enhanced. So be aware that the battery life is yet to improve on Android 12 ROMs and the charging speeds are okay as well. You might not get the complete 33 watt charging. You'll get like 25 to 27 watts, but it is still fast right if you go to sound you have a ton of options for customization over here you do have the now playing feature in sound now i've not gone ahead and tried it oh shows now playing history no songs identified yet uh i might be wrong here for some reason it's grayed out so we'll leave that alone right and if you go to discussions and different options like increased touch responsiveness and stuff and you do have your wallpaper in style again right now, under passwords and account, you have your Google account and stuff. And under system, you do have rules, system update and gestures, right? So swipe to screenshot. Let's go ahead and select these. There you go. And you have an option of extended screenshot with this magnified preview as well. So that works absolutely fine. So if you ask me in Cherish OS, I've not really had any major problems. I did see that there is an ANX camera available for this particular ROM, although I didn't get the time to flash it. Maybe later when they come up with a better build, which has a few more things added and a few more bugs taken care of, I will go ahead and give ANX camera a try. Installing this ROM is not really tricky, but yes, I would recommend you to go to their Telegram group and follow the installation steps. Now, before we come towards the end of the video, let's go ahead and talk about the benchmark numbers real quick, right? So the first thing that we're going to talk about is CPU throttle test. All right. Now, this is something really, really crazy, right? The average score was 276,989 GIPS. Android 11, Android 12, AOSP or MIUI in a 15 minute test, which is normal test, not 100 threads, 95%. That's it. This is an amazing CPU throttle test. This is the highest score that I have ever seen for this particular device in CPU throttle test. Now, if you move to Geekbench over here, right? Single core 967, multi core 2957. So rock solid scores in benchmark. And I think this ROM will give you great performance in gaming as well. So you can go ahead and give it a try. I did run Antutu, but on some Android 12 ROMs, Antutu is getting stuck and because of which the test is not completing and it's giving us a low score, right? It says the device may be rooted and stuff. So ignore the Antutu score, but the CPU throttle score and the Geekbench score is rock solid. It's performing really great. And overall, Cherish OS beta in the beta version as well, it's doing a great job. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this wonderful ROM? Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.